Today we're going to use shortcut formulas for isosceles triangles and we're going to use it to find the base of this um, triangle and we're also going to use it to find the height. So let's start with this base formula first. To find this base length I can use this little formula that's two times the square root of a squared plus h squared where a is one of the lengths of these of the isosceles congruent legs and h is the height or the altitude inside here. Okay so let's use this little formula to find this base length I need to know I'd, well, let's write the formula. I'm going to base is equal to 2 times the square root of a squared. Well, a in this case is 10. So I'm going to square that minus my height, which is 8 squared. So let's see, that's going to give me 100 minus 64. And I bring that 2 down. And then so 2 times the square root of, well, 100 minus 64 is 36. So 2 times the square root of 36, well the square root of 36 is 6, so 2 times 6 is 12. So that's how long my base is down here. Okay, so what is this formula? Where is this formula derived from? This formula is actually just derived from the Pythagorean theorem. If you can see, you have a right triangle, you have the hypotenuse, and you have a leg. So you find the missing leg. Once you find that missing leg, you just double it to find the length of that base. So just another way to look at it. Okay, let's use our little handy dandy formula to find the height this time. So we're going to use this for the height. Okay, to find this height given the base and one of the legs, uh, and we know those legs are congruent, we're going to take the height is equal to the square root of a. Well, a is the length of our leg, so that's 26 minus b squared over 4. Well, b is my whole base. So I'm going to take my base, and I'm going to square it, and then I'm going to divide that by 4. Ooh, these are some big numbers, so let's do this. Okay, 26 squared is equal to 26 times 26, or 676, minus, well, 20 times, let's clear that, 20 times 20 is 400, and 400 all divided by 4 is going to give me 100. So let's see, that's 676 minus 100, which is equal to the square root of 576. And that would be my height. Now let's see, let's see if we can't simplify that. Okay, that simplifies to just 24, because that's a perfect square. So we take the square root of that, and that means the height is 24. So the height right here would be 24 using our handy dandy little shortcut formula. Hope this video was helpful.